Hey, my name's Rick, and I uh, just want to share with you some things we're thinking through. So one of our, our core values is to think about things from a first principles perspective, and specifically with AI, everything, what is the AI native way of doing things? And that, that goes across everything that we're doing. So one of the things we're working on is a cloud console um, for running agents and deploying agents. And the question came up, what's the AI way? AI native way of doing this. And there's a lot of different thoughts. You know, you can do the generative UI approach, which is really cool, um, where you have a prompt and the user's interacting with an LLM and then it's generating UI based on what the user needs. So we might do some of that um, depending on the use case. But also there's some problems with it, especially with productivity software, utility type software. You know, you want to click, you know, exactly where to click, exactly where to go, boom, boom, boom. You want to go really fast. Maybe... You don't want to have to wait for an LLM. Actually, the LLM might be some friction and bad friction at that. So, but at the same time, it's like, well, how can we still use AI? And so this concept I'm going to show you, I don't know what it's called. Maybe we call it LLM augmented UI or AI augmented UI. But it's where you have productivity type software where you have consistent UI driven by, run by UI. And you've seen this before, I'm sure, this type of thing, but let me explain it in a minute. Let's, let me demo it. So I got this little sparkle over here. You click on it and you say, um, dummy failed agents, hit enter. And then it automatically, what it does is it, it, it applies the filter on the table. It knows about the different UI components the LLM does, and it can adjust it. So it is session zero still active. You know, you can ask a bunch of things and it knows the data and it knows the, how the React component behaves, and then it applies it accordingly. So the answer to that is no, of course. And it's really easy to do. In this case, it's just I have this wrapper component um, here you'll see called LLM Enhanced. And the properties are the properties that the LLM is allowed to override on this data table. So if I drill down to this data table, you'll see there's a filters array and then a search string, um, which are the two, the search filter and then the, um, the drop downs that you saw. And so when, when the user does, um, is prompt, we send it to the LLM. Here's the properties you're allowed to override data, blah, 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 figure it out. It comes back with the properties to override and then it overrides those in the wrapped component. So you can literally drop this into any, like I could drop this into every single chart if I wanted to. <laughs> Or props drilling higher level and just go all the way down. I could do that if I wanted to. Now, I think that's the first kind of approach, maybe a little naive. React context across a whole screen where then you can manipulate everything on the screen. That makes a lot of sense. But then I was thinking even further than that, it would be great if you didn't even need to hit this and prompt the LLM. And what I mean by that is, you know how it is? I'll just use Google Cloud Console for an example. You go there, you go to the logs. We've all have done it a million times. You click on it, click on it, click on it, and this pane opens, and this pane opens, and this pane, and then you lose your context, or you accidentally clear a filter, and then, like, how do I get back? And you copy-paste it to one of your your buddies, and then they try to get in, and it doesn't work. Um, but as you're using the product, if we have, if we've wrapped the screen, we've wrapped up the product, watching what you do, LLM has context to that. And so either when you go to ask, the LLM, hey, what's the recent sessions that blah, 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 blah. Um, or based on what you're doing, you're looking at your running agents in your memory, the LLM just adjusts the UI for you. So again, it's not creating UI, generating UI, it's augmenting it with what it knows about what you're trying to do. And I think that's really interesting. That's a really interesting AI native way of thinking of things. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. This is some of the things that we're doing as we're working out this uh, cloud console for agents. Thanks.